My name is Rishabh Jain and welcome to today's video on YOLO version 2 Deep Learning, Object Detection in MATLAB 2019A. Today, we will be exploring the world of You Only Look Once. After this video, you will have created a finished trained YOLO detector. You will build the model, learn how it works, download a variety of datasets, train the model, and finally test it. Your model will be able to detect and outline an object, which in this case will be cars. First, as an overview, let's look at what YOLO is, then downloading the necessary toolboxes and related libraries, loading the available datasets, which include some images of cars, training the YOLO detector, and finally, we'll evaluate the model and test it and give an overall summary within the video. First off, what is YOLO? YOLO stands for You Only Look Once, and it has multiple different steps. Those steps are as follow. First, apply a neural network to the entire image. Divide the image into a grid and define boxes with predictions and probabilities. Next, we'll use logistic regression to calculate the probability for each class within each grid. For multiple classes, we use different regression models, which will be trained on, for example, different objects. We'll use one log logistic regression to train on cars, one logistic regression to train on people, etc. Lastly, we determine which boxes or those mini grid squares have a higher probability of being that object or class that we train the logistic regression model for. This becomes easiest to understand once we have an example in front of us. So in this grid-like example, we're able to see pretty much the entire globe and all of the countries within it. Say we are trying to locate um, a certain country, for example, the United States. So what will originally happen is first we're going to lay out these grid, uh, these grid-like boxes across our entire image and apply a neural network on the entire image, basically. Then uh, we'll only have one class since we're only trying to predict uh, whether there's one thing, which is the United States of America. Then we'll put uh, logistic regression uh, and we'll have one model because again, we only have one class, which is the US. And we'll calculate the probability that the US is in each of those grid boxes. So for example, we have zero, zero up in the top left, and that might have, you know, like a 0.5% chance of even having the US in it. While a box like, for example, two, three, where it has a uh, part of Mexico in it might have a higher probability because it somehow is closer and the logistic regression model is able to tell that. But again, it hopefully won't be as high as our main box, which is located at 2, 2 in the left side. We'll train the neural network on a variety of different images. For example, we could just train it on uh, multiple of these globe-like images and we could have the model just draw those grid lines on it and calculate those probabilities for each of the boxes. And eventually, hopefully, we'll come across a neural net that is able to predict which box contains the United States accurately and in a good time. And let's uh, also remember one thing. When we use YOLO, we actually have a real-time kind of uh, testing and training procedure where it's actually evaluated quite fast since we're using logistic regression and although it's a neural network we don't need as much data as we would usually need because of logistic regression and again the amount of data could change depending on which classes we're using so let's move on to step two Downloading libraries and toolboxes in MATLAB is very simple and I assume you should already have quite a few of these toolboxes if you have done machine learning or deep learning projects before. So you're going to need the computer vision toolbox, the deep learning toolbox, the parallel computing toolbox, and optionally if you're going to train the network on your own and not just load the pre-trained one, you're going to need a, an NVIDIA GPU to speed things up and make, th make things um, a little bit more compatible 
Uh, other than that, um, it's pretty much straightforward. You should have most of these already installed. And um, if you already, uh, if you have the deep learning toolbox, you should have the deep learning toolbox model for the ResNet 50 network. But um, once you load up the code in MATLAB, it should alert you and let you know of what you're missing and what you need. Now that we have all our modules and libraries installed, let's get started with downloading the pre-trained detector. This example uses a pre-trained detector to allow the example to run without having to wait for training to complete. If you want to train the detector with the train YOLO v2 object detector function, set the do training variable, as you can see in the code, to true. Otherwise, download the pre-trained detector using this bit of code. Next, we load the dataset. This example uses a small vehicle dataset that contains 295 images. Each image contains one or two labeled instances of a vehicle. A small dataset is useful for exploring the YOLO v2 training procedure, but in practice, more labeled images are needed to train a robust detector. The training data is then stored in a table. The first column contains the path to the image files, while the remaining columns will contain the ROI labels for the vehicles. Next, we're going to display one of the images from our dataset to understand the type of images it contains. Using our code, we're actually going to display this example image as you can see on the screen right here. After this, we'll split the data set into a training set for training the detector and a testing set for evaluating the detector. Select 60% of the data for training and we're going to use the rest for evaluation. First, specify the image input size and the number of classes. The image input size should be at least as big as the images in the training image set. In this example, the images are 224 by 224 by 3, since there's three colors RGB. Next, we're going to specify the size of our anchor boxes. Next, we'll load the pre-trained ResNet 50. We'll specify our feature layers and create the YOLO detection network. Finally we'll train the YOLO object detector. You can find this section of the code along with the rest of the code in the description down below. Again, this part of the code will be in the description because there is not enough space on the screen to show it all. Basically, we create a table with all of the various images we have in our testing set. Then we will run the detector on each of these images and calculate our log average miss rates as well as our average precision. Once graphed, you might find something like this. In summary, this example showed how to train a vehicle detector using deep learning. You can follow similar steps to train detectors for traffic signs, pedestrians, or other objects. To learn more about deep learning, Check the description down below and to download or learn about any other code that we talked about in this video, again, check the description. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to this channel and we'll see you next time.